8 a.m. Normandy. We are chasing down a certain gentleman. JP, Jean-Pierre, has an incredible pedigree in the D-Day and Normandy historian bracket. He knows his stuff. History brings story, and uh, stories make history. Speaking of stuff, he's actually got a lot of equipment and material at his place. Jean-Pierre runs the D-Day Academy. As an established filmmaker in this arena, I've spent much time in the museums and events across the world. But rarely have I seen somewhere like this, where it's not just the dusty artifacts that grab your interest, it's the individual touch and the personal histories of men and machines that make an immediate connection to events here in Normandy all those years ago. Fantastic, truly fantastic. He pointed out the exact area where these German forces had been destroyed. Seven bodies, seven German soldiers. They were 16 to 18 years of age, and we had one minute of silence. Following individual and well-documented history, three sorties a day, JP and his team bring these trucks guns, planes and equipment to life. Down because of light flag. As time passes, more and more people from the USA, UK, Canada and other nations are curious about their relatives' involvement in World War II and Normandy in particular. JP's team research these stories and take visitors to the battlefields, the beaches and beyond into Normandy to show how their loved ones lived and fought during these times. It's about making a connection between now and those perilous times when the price of freedom was so bitterly fought for and ultimately prevailed.